every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? Bro, you gotta fucking stop. You gotta stop with all this I can't catch a break bullshit. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to improve certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something. Fucking something. I'm gonna have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. We're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this, is it that, is it making money? It, is, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. I can't catch a break, guys. Yeah. Get them the fuck away from me. I can't, I can't be around those guys. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't buy it. Because everybody has bad breaks. Yeah. I've had a shit ton of bad breaks. But you know what I did? I, I stayed up. Yeah. And I thought through it. And I, and I figured out what the fuck I did wrong. And then I went back. It's like, I fucked up everything I've ever done a hundred times. There's no way to other, there's no other way to do it. And I've had a bunch of shitty breaks. Everybody has. But you got to realize when you have those shitty breaks what that is. It's an opportunity for you to reassess, reboot, get better, figure out another way, find another way through. It's just, just little challenges. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? I got news for you. That's where winning is. Everybody's great when they're not tired. The champions is when they're tired, that's when the real champions come out. That's when a real dog come out. Because if you're going to piss like a puppy, stay on the porch. And let the big dog see. Let them on the fucking field. Have some heart. Every day is just constant improvement, constant curiosity, constantly getting better. The results don't really matter. Uh, it's the figuring out that matters. What's hard is going... Yo, yesterday, I got nothing from working as hard as I could. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm going to be here the next day. I'm 50 years old. I'm still fucking getting after it. It's a person that puts no fucking limit on what's possible. And were you tired? Think of last year and think of that fucking record. Every time I get tired or I think I can't go no more, I think of that fucking record. That ain't us. We can make it. We gotta believe. We gotta be mentally strong. When we tired, that's where we gotta put our fundamentals together. That's where we gotta be more focused. That's the hardest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. To get up every day and give 100% and, and be in the same position that you were each day, but mentally know that you're trying and trying and trying. There's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hey, this a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. What are you gonna do? How bad do you want it? There's two options. You continue forward. Pushing upward. And if you do, that dream is given birth. And forever you will live in the reality of it. If you stop, quit throwing the towel. I promise you there's no distance you can travel far enough to find that dream again. For it is dead. And in its death, it's replaced by regret. I had two options. To either be that 300 pound guy who sprayed for cockroaches and made a thousand dollars a month, and at 24 years old, knowing when I'm 50 fucking years old, I can reflect on this and think about what guy I never became, or I can totally just sack it up and fail and fail and fail until I succeed.